Okay, folks, welcome to Clunkers and Classics. In this episode, we're going to fix this dash. I know, it's, it's a basket case. But, and this is for a 72 Nova, but this video can be for uh, any type of dash, really, like that. Problem is, these parts are getting way too expensive. I mean, way too expensive. Uh, we're going to have to go back to the old days to start uh, fixing stuff. Uh, most stuff. Because this, I I swear a couple of years ago it was 150 bucks. You could buy a new dash. Not too bad. Get a new one, bolt it in there, no problem. Now, this... A new dash is 285 bucks. That's the cheapest I found. Most of them were 300 to 320 on eBay. Um, you can get a overlay cover that goes over top of this. Uh, cheapest I found was like 159 plus 50 for shipping, so it's like 200 bucks. It's only 100 dollars cheaper than a a new one. Okay, so. We're going to fix this for about 10 bucks. That's what I'm going to put in the headline. Fix your dash for 10 bucks. So we're going to save, you know, 300 bucks. 10 bucks is for a little Bondo and a little vinyl material. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, because this, what happened, you know, this is a tech from Texas, I'm a, uh, from a Texas car. So this is all from the heat and the sun. So what it does is it bubbles up. So what you need to do, uh, you need to get it flat. So you take a razor blade. Now this one I'm probably going to have to get another one. I'm just going to show you here for a second. This one's probably dull. What you do is you cut. You cut these edges down like this. Cut off that hard plastic. Okay, like this. See what I'm doing here? Cut that hard plastic down and use like a straight edge. I got like a paint stick and just put it over top. And, uh, you know, you can see the, see the high spots. Like that, and that's really high there. So we're gonna cut all that down. Of course, you can't do it at the curved spot like right here see how it's teetering cut all that down and then we're gonna fill it in with Bondo okay so I'll be back okay guys I dug out all the worst part of it I'm gonna do this a little bit different than I usually do because it's so messed up uh, okay so after you get that and it's pretty pretty straight ain't too much too many high spots. Mix up some Bondo. I just got some cheap Bondo here from Walmart. Now just mix up a little bit. Now you're going to have to do this a few times. Mix up little batches. I'll show you here. Okay, what you want to do is fill in these pig spots that don't, and pack it in, go like this. Push it, push it all in on both sides. Okay, and you're not, you're not worrying about getting it filled in all the way. Just get that base part of it done. Now some people say you can use uh, that spray foam, but that's just going to be messy and then you can cut it with a razor blade. And it's more expensive than Bondo. Bondo is pretty cheap. Okay, 
should have mixed up some more, but get the idea. Just uh, mix up little batches and push it all in there on both sides real good. Okay, still, you know, still got to do this and this, but don't get it over, over. You don't want to do no sanding or nothing yet. We're going to be, we're going to be sanding and blocking and everything on this here in a little bit. We're going to get them filled in and then we'll come back and this is just uh, like drywall tape here. It's, it's supposed to be sticky on each side. And we're just going to smear the whole dash with this stuff and Bondo. I'll show you that here in a little while. But right now, just fill that in. This will dry here in a few minutes. And put another coat on and get it pretty, pretty flat, but not over. Okay? So I'll, I'll be back in a minute and show you. Okay, guys. I got all the big cracks filled. Now, what you want to do... You can grab a sander. I got a sander here. It's not a very good piece of sandpaper. Uh, you want to use like toughest grit you can get, probably like 36 grit. I don't have any, so I just got 80 grit here. And just go over it real lightly and get it smooth. Uh, Okay, you can see how that's smoothing out. It still needs a little bit more Bondo there, but uh, just get all the high spots of the Bondo down. Okay, now I'm gonna do this to, uh, off camera because it's kind of hard to hold a camera and do the thing, uh, sander at, at the same time. And then I'm gonna use this, mix up some more Bondo. I'm gonna put a light coat of Bondo over the whole thing and then I'm going to put this backing tape. Uh, well, I'll show you here in a minute after I get it sanded down. I'll be back. Okay, I just it just took a couple minutes. Went over the sander. But as you can see, I still got low spots here. Right in here. Right in here. A little bit there. A little bit there. So I'm going to smooth this out. I'm going to put a little bit more Bondo on those spots and then once that dries I'm going to sand it again and then we'll put the backing the backing tape on there and skim the whole thing but you want to get you want to get all these big low spots here you can get a little it's okay to leave a little low spots before the backing but not big ones Okay, that'll probably do it there. Okay, so let me let that dry, and I'm going to buzz over it with the sander, and then I'll be back, and we'll, we'll skim the whole thing with some backing tape on it. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I filled in... Uh, Big low spots, got it where I want it. Mixed up some Bondo. I'm gonna, and I already cut a, three strips of the backing tape. So I can kind of do this all at once one handed. <laughs> so what you want to do is put a very, very light coat. Basically just enough 
for that backing tape to stick to. You're not you're not filling in anything at this point. You're just just putting on a very light skim. And just coat the coat the whole thing. Hurry <laughs> up here, it's seventy something degrees out, so this stuff might dry pretty quick. Okay, let me see if I can set this on a tripod here for just a second. Okay, can you see that? You can overlap it if you want. Okay. Once you get it on there like that, go over with your spreader and spread that in there real good. You got to kind of push really hard on it. Get all that. You want to get that uh, backing plate really flat. You don't want it pushing up on you. That's really hard to do one-handed, guys. But... Okay, and cut this off with a razor blade. Let me uh, let me do this two-handed, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, put a little skim on there, pushed in uh, backing uh, tape, and then uh, went over it with the spreader and pushed it down there, push it in really hard. Let that tack up till it's almost dry, and then I put another little coat on there. Got a little sticking up right there. Uh, then I put another little coat on top of there. So what I'm going to do next, it's almost done. Uh, I'm going to go over with the sander real light to get you know, little spots like this. It's really light. You don't want to burn through the, the tape. Because that, that tape is what holds it all together. So the Bondo doesn't break off in little pieces and stuff. Okay. So we're going to go over it real light. Just to get the little high spots, which ain't much, it ain't much there. And then we're gonna put one one more skim coat over the whole thing, and then uh, sand it one more time. So that's when I'll come back when it's done like that. Okay. And then don't forget the little uh, little cracks and stuff here. Put a little bondo in the edges here where it had cracks. See that sticking up right in there a little bit. Uh, we're not going to be doing any blocking on this. I fixed these before where they had, you know, a couple of cracks, like, say, like right here and right here. And then I'll just do that little area and block it and block it and block it. But actually, this probably uh, is probably quicker because we don't have to block the whole thing. Okay, so basically go over with the sander, another skim, go over with the sander again, 
and just make sure you don't burn through this tape okay so I'll come back when that's all done all smooth and show you okay guys I buzzed over it with the sander and like I said it doesn't really need to be blocked uh, I've only used one piece of sandpaper on the sander and this is my second piece by hand and basically you just want to kind of scuff over it like this you know and get out little lines the, uh, then after this it's ready for the vinyl to be glued on there the vinyl I got is very thin uh, probably be best to use a thicker vinyl but I think this will work so that so anyway that's why I'm gonna try to get all this just get all the little lines out of the Bondo like that man that's that's slick it doesn't have to be perfect all the sand scratches that's why it's probably best to do it in 36 grit because the, the vinyl will cover the sand scratches and you don't have to prime it or nothing like that okay so when I come back we'll put the vinyl on okay guys kind of raining outside so I can't use the hood to work on so I, I don't have a real big table this ain't the best table to use okay I cut out a, uh, some vinyl it's just some cheap thin vinyl you can buy on eBay uh, I usually buy it by the, a couple of yards of it actually this is leftover from the amount I bought to do the rear package tray on that Nova okay so we'll lay that out and here's the dash here. I went over a couple little spots that I thought might show. Okay, you want to wipe, wipe it off. I did already, but uh, wipe it off again. Any little dirt or something, a little ball of gravel or something will come up through there and it'll look like shit so kind of make sure everything's clean okay so we want to go on one edge first we want to get this area here first we're going to put contact cement right across here and then lay that on there and we're going to use a, a squeegee when you lay it on there like that go like that uh, make sure I got enough actually we need to, need to go like this right on the edge okay so let's open this up and we got a heat gun you can use a heat gun if uh, okay don't worry about the edges just the uh, just this top surface for now. Let's give it a nice even coat. Okay, usually I would let this tack up a little bit 
and put on a second coat. <laughs> okay, let, let me turn off the thing and I'll, I'll be back in a minute when I let it pack up and get a second coat on it. Okay, I let the first coat tack up for a couple minutes, and then I put another coat on there. Put it on kind of thin, not real thick, and eat very evenly. Okay, now make sure you got this. And we're going to do right right at the edge of this and like I said just do the top don't do the the front here or underneath or the edges don't do any of that yet that's going to require more of a, like stretching and uh, some heat most likely okay Got that a little bit off. Okay. You want to kind of flip this over. That over like that. Okay. Now, we want to squeegee this flat. Use your squeegee and press it down pretty good. Put a little bit of pressure on there. I probably shouldn't be smoking, but not that anything's flammable, it's just that it's uh You don't want to get the ashes in the underneath the cement and vinyl. Okay, this is got some lines in it from this from it being folded. That we should be able to use a little heat and get that out. Just keep using a squeegee. Yeah, if you can get some vinyl that hasn't been folded, it'd be a lot better. And we'll try a little bit of heat to see if we can get that out. 
but it's not necessarily right necessary right at this moment. Okay, so that's pretty pretty good there. Now you flip it around and you want to glue this edge here. Okay, what you want to do is put some uh, contact cement on both sides here. I don't know which better view you can see. Put it like this all the way all the way along this edge just that edge and then we're going to flip it up I'm going to turn the camera off here in a second flip it up over like this and then use some tape and tape it like that okay can you see that and go over all this edge Okay, so I'll be back when I get that done, so we don't use up a lot of video time. Okay, glue all them edges. Tape that edge up of the vinyl. Real good, just like that. Okay, we're going to flip it over. See what it looks like. Uh, use your squeegee again on the top that you've uh, already put the contact cement that should be drying up a little bit now so you can see some little well you probably can't see it from there you can see little bubble type things there squeegee all that down real good Okay, so that's the top of it done. Okay, flip her back over and we want to do the other side now. This has got to come over, over like that. And this is the tricky part but so you want to come over real real tight like that but you're going to have to do some cuts right here but you don't want to cut it too much because this will stretch Okay, but first, you want to get it uh, cut off, cut off a few inches here. You just want enough to, to go over like this one, an inch or two around like that. So let's cut some of this off. And then we're going to, uh, going to glue it around here first. So when I get that done, I'll be back. Okay guys, I cut out some uh, pieces here, so what we're going to do is uh, glue, put some contact cement right in this edge here and all along this front, not, not the back edges, Don't this, we're saving this to last, just this front, right here and here. And uh, you can put some here. We're going to have to do some little cuts in here later. But for now, I'm going to do that. So you get, make sure you get these uh, edges here real good. Because we're going to pull it up after we get all this glued here. like that 
we're going to stretch that up. Not, not a lot, just, just cut some tightness on it like that. Wrap it around and tape it. Just like we did the bottom. Put some tape there. And that way this gets... Okay, so let me do that. And I'm going to tape them up and what, see what happens. So you're going to have this right here. And that we're going to have to perform surgery and do some little cuts and maybe heat it and stuff and bend it so it gets in here. Okay, well let me get this main part done and I'll be back. Okay. So I did was bring the tape around here, pull that in, and tape it up underneath. Just, just the flat spots, like there and here. Now, as you can see, that's the dent. That's what you're going to see there. That's the top, and then the front. Although it's taped up, it's uh, come up pretty good. So. Now comes the little tricky parts, like this area here, What you're going to have to do, so I haven't glued that, I just glued the, the front, that's why I said don't glue the little corners and stuff. Okay, so this, you see how this is thin and will stretch, like that, so you're going to now put some uh, contact cement in there, and then pull this down. And see if you got something thicker you could use your heat gun and just heat it up so it's stretchable i may do that a little bit and then uh then run some tape from there around like that okay uh same with these little corners here this is for the temperature or the uh, vents you want to just kind of stretch that on each corner cut it down as far as you can to the edge that way you don't have to stretch a lot of it. I'll see it better here. Okay. And then you just got the ends. Now the uh, pillars go right from here. And they go up along the windshield. So really if you if you're gonna get any bad spots, kind of so you're going to have to kind of cut some of this out so you only glue one side of it. And you may have an edge uh, edge there, but you won't see it. This, this, this part here will be where you open the door, be in the door jam. Okay, and the pillar's there. So you want to just use one piece up like that and then cut the other, cut this out. Same with this side here, and then this is another little stretchy spot here You got to kind of so I didn't glue the edge there yet so you want to put pack that with glue and then then pull that and tape it Kind of pull it Like that Okay, so I'm gonna do that and I'll be back and show you how it turns out Okay, guys, got my little helpers here. Puppy. And Kitty's just snoozing away. Okay, so I got it all done. Here it is here. I'm going to have to let it dry for a couple hours. This is just, this will just wipe off a little bit of dust. Okay, let's see if we can get a better, better in the light. Uh, you can buy new stuff for this, the uh, AC duct and the Nova emblem here. I'm going to trim that out a little bit. The Nova emblem is going to be in here any day now. But anyway, these are the edges here. You heat them up and they, they uh, stretch real easy. You have to heat it up here, 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 and here. And just, you know, every once in a while, just kind of push it down, make sure it's sticking real good. Okay, then the same with this edges here. You have to just kind of cut around. And 
and this edge here. She's gonna look good. So, uh, let me let that dry at the end of the day or tomorrow and I'll unmask it and I'll show you what it looks like. But it, it's gonna look good. Okay, I'll be back. Okay guys, I unmasked it. And there it is. This is where the uh, column post comes up. Same with here. And that's where the emblem goes. And the uh, vents for the AC. Although I may put some gauges there. But anyway, there it is for about 10 bucks in materials, a couple bucks for Fondo, a couple bucks for contact cement, a couple bucks for vinyl. About 10 bucks. And uh, took about, you know, took about three hours altogether. But yeah. There you go. Instead of 300 bucks, you spend a couple hours and uh, fix your old one. Okay, uh, subscribe if you if you uh, want. Bottom right hand corner of the screen, click that subscribe button. It's uh, free, doesn't cost anything. And uh, finish watching my videos. I'm restoring the 72 Nova about halfway through with it. Going to be starting on the paint and body work here pretty soon after I finish putting this dash in. Next video, I uh, should be installing this dash. I got a few other things to do. But yeah, this should be installed. And uh, like, comment, not share, all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you next video. Thanks for watching.